For geography, me and my cuz had to do an interaction. So we chose war. And we did a documentary to show it. We studied for multiple days, even the weekends, for the documentary. We studied all day and all night to finally, finally finish, finish this documentary. documentary. Hope you enjoy. state of con armed conflict between societies is generally characterized by extreme collective aggression, destruction, and usually high mortality. The set of techniques and actions used to conduct war is also known as warfare. War, the thing that people fear the most. The thing that's been going on for centuries now. Everything has been talking about. It. The news and even online. War has caused devastation for all those who have loved ones fighting for their country. Honestly, I think we are really good. If you feel no war, you are always devastated. War is like one of the top five cousin poverty things. I mean like, to be exact, it's like number two, okay? And like, that is real high. I mean like, oh my god. About to die, so poverty. I'm the one that took them, drawn back up on the street. You see, in 1941, World War II, my great uncle Jeffrey went out to fight against all those Germans. He died due to a minefield. Yeah. Along with 60 million other people, war is devastating, killing all those people, birth families, mothers, fathers. Yeah. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How is it not? I mean, if war was good, that means killing is good. It's destruction of not only families, but the environment too. Solving your problems with violence will get you no more for problems to deal with. War doesn't end unless we eliminate all of our enemies, which is not literal. If war was in our homeland, we would all have much different views of this matter. Killing is never the right answer. Especially if this of the MC. Multiple people fought inside the war. Some came home, but sadly, some did not. How do we stop war? It's pretty simple. Stop war, save lives. We can stop war by peace. Simple solution. We must learn that we are all equal. Inside and out. Reason with them. Just ignore them. Two wrongs don't make a right. They don't go to the We must stop war before war stops us. In order to stop war, we need peace. Peace and justice. Now, not only peace in a local area, but around the whole entire globe. You see, if we have peace in the whole entire globe, we can all work together as one. And already half of the country has agreed to peace. Shouldn't you? We decided to go into the streets and ask some people what they thought about war. Here's what they said. I'm in a public park with my friend Mr. K. Mr. K. What do you think about war? I think war is a terrible place you should never be part of. Why do you think that, Mr. K? Because good guy or bad guy, people are dying, and that is not good. Okay, see folks? Here's a smart man thinking how bad war is. <laughs> Well, you know, I think war is, I think war is uh, disgusting and 
lots of this people guy should not be a problem that we have. See that guys? Football genius here, Mr. Senpai. Thank you. Hi, I'm here at Pokemon Master with Popeye's and Geek. What do you think about what works? Well, well, it's a terrible thing. It interrupts my time at Popeye's and Pokemon. So, in my eyes, war is not good, but it's good when I come to get more money. Back to Pokemon. There are people dying every single day due to war, and kids always protesting how bad What's war that? is. Now you see, if we stop war, then we get peace. And if we get peace, then we get happiness. If we could all just work together as one team, no one would be mad, and no one would be sad. We all be happy. We must stop war before war stops us. See? War is easily endable. But no one has enough courage to end it. We're too scared. That's why we must work together to end war. Or else, mankind would be no more. Now you see why war is bad? It's second reason why that there's poverty in this world and causing devastation to those people who have loved ones fighting for the country.